any wealth that humanity stores outside of Bitcoin can be debased. A common form of savings is dollars or other fiat currencies. While stable in the short term, these currencies are designed to debase over time against basic consumer goods. The Federal Reserve, for example, targets an inflation rate of around 2% or more annually. This 2% rate is not the growth rate in the supply of dollars directly. In the U.S., the long-term growth rate in the supply of dollars in checking and savings accounts is actually around 7%. This 2% inflation target is simply the inflation rate against a basket of consumer goods. And these basic consumer goods, well, we're only becoming significantly more productive at producing them. So not only is your dollar getting devalued, but it's getting devalued against some of the easiest things to produce. For example, in farming in 1930, one American farmer could feed only four people. By the 2010s, one farmer was feeding 155 people. In data storage, to record one gigabyte worth of data with clay tablets, it would take one million days. To record one gigabyte today on an SSD hard drive, it would take less than a second. In the oil industry in the 1860s, one employee produced 0.3 barrels of oil per day. Now one employee produces 100 barrels of oil per day. In the lumber industry from 1900 to 2017, lumber production increased by roughly 6x Per employee. So as you'll notice, the dollar is designed to lose value against those very goods that we are capable of producing at a faster and faster rate, including shelter, food, and energy. And these happen to be three of the four largest expenditure categories in the consumer price index. And the capability to produce these consumer goods is not slowing down. AI, robotics, and other new technologies will only accelerate human productivity meaning even more dollars may need to be created just to maintain the 2% inflation target. But of course, who holds actual dollars? Smart investors hold bonds. It's a $300 trillion market. And these bonds are simply promises for a fixed amount of future dollars. Now, bonds do typically offer positive nominal yields to account for the duration of the loan and risk. But these positive yields come with counterparty risk of the borrower. Will the business of the borrower fail? Will the business or the government borrower default? Will the government borrower pay you back with printed money? Will inflation be higher than you expected? This means that while you may potentially receive a positive nominal return denominated in a fiat currency that's designed to debase against basic consumer goods, there is risk associated with this return as the borrower has the potential to default resulting in a potentially negative nominal return. In addition, globally accessible free markets trend to maximum efficiency, which means in the long run, the potential for excess profit or alpha from bonds trends towards zero due to the competitive nature of free markets. As more investors seek out safer bonds with higher yields, the demand for these bonds increases, driving up their prices. This increase in the price lowers the yield for new investors, reducing the potential for excess profit. Over time, as more investors enter the market and information becomes more accessible and accurately reflected in bond prices, the opportunity for above average returns declines. This convergence towards efficiency means that the long-term real risk-adjusted profitability of bonds is squeezed. There is no free lunch in competitive markets, and if there is a free lunch, it wouldn't last very long as individual market participants would be eating it. But now that Bitcoin exists, we don't have to save dollars or bonds. We can simply save Bitcoin, as it's actually good money. The free market is capable of producing exponentially more food, lumber, energy, and basic consumer goods, and even T-bills. However, Bitcoin is the only monetary asset that the free market cannot create more of. No matter how much time or energy is spent, there will never be more than 21 million Bitcoin. Buy and save Bitcoin. There is no second best. If you like this video, go read my full 37-page report titled Your Wealth is Melting. And you can check it out using the link below. Thanks for watching, everyone, and see you next time.